So let's talk about how to access both the named keys and values within an array. So a lot of times when you're dealing with an array, you have unnamed keys, and basically all you're doing is you're dumping uh, a lot of different values into the array, and then you'll sort or you'll test against those values uh, however you see fit. But sometimes you will also name the keys in an array if you're going to be doing things such as giving values to the key names. So in the example that I'm going to show you, I'm going to create named keys with people names and then the values for those keys will be what their grades are so this is kind of like a, an example of like a report card type system well when you're going to be ax when you're going to be using a system like this with both named keys and values in the array then many times you want to be able to turn the named keys into variables at the same time you turn the values into variables so that you can work with them in your script so with this you can you can still use the for each function but when you use the for each function you're going to grab both the named key and the values within the array so let's go over to the computer so I can show you how this works so we here we have a, a simple script that I created called for each keys .php, and in this script for the array I have created named keys so instead of just dumping information in here I have created names for the keys and then set the values for those those named keys so with here uh, what we do again we start with PHP so we open PHP script and then again since this is gonna be like a report card simulation we're going to just say dollar sign report card and that's going to be the variable that we're going to set for this array we're going to make it equal to use the array function and here what we're going to do is we're going to name the keys in the array so the first thing we're going to do again single quotation mark we're going to put somebody's name Mary close single quotation mark then we use this thing to set the value of that particular key in a named array equal sign less than sign and then the value for Mary single quotation mark we will put uh, we'll put B plus oops we'll put B plus and then we'll close a single quotation mark and then we'll put comma so what this does is create we create the named key of Mary and set the value to B plus we then create the named key of 10 and set the value to a we create the named a key of sue and we set the value to c and then we close parentheses and with a semicolon so we've created an array here mary tim and sue with the values of b plus a and C. Then all we're going to do is we're going to use the for each function like we did before for getting the values out of an array. This time we do the parentheses, we do dollar sign report card. So with this, again, with for each, you feed the first thing that you do is you feed it the name of the array that you're dealing with. We're going to do as as we did before, but here we're going to add two variables. So the first variable is we're going to say dollar sign names. So dollar sign names, this is going to fill in for the named keys. So Mary, Tim, Sue, and so forth. So it's going to turn the named keys into a variable called names, and then equal, again, greater than sign and then what we're going to do here is we're going to turn the values of those named keys into a variable called grade past that we just close the parentheses so we do report card as the named key will be names and the value will be grades close of course we do squiggly brackets and so what we're going to do here is we're then going to print double quotation marks and what we can do is we can just basically feed the uh, the variables that we've been created so we're going to feed it names so dollar sign names Mary Tim Sue so on and so forth we do a colon we do a space and then we're going to say what their grade is so what the grade is the value of that the uh, the named key and then we're going to do a break so it goes on to the next line close double quotation marks or semicolon and then close squiggly bracket so what this is going to do is this is going to go for each so for every value within the array it's going to print out the name of the key and the value for that key and then of course what we're going to do is we're going to close out PHP then all you do is you come here you go to silicon oops, silicon dojo.com and then you do for each keys and see so this is now what we have so the name of the key Mary Tim Sue 
with a, with a colon past it, then a space, and then the value. So Mary had a B plus, Tim had an A, Sue had a C. So you can do this with things like inventory control, you can do this things like with report cards. Basically this is a way that you can use both both the named key and the value as a way to you know set conditions within a script, be able to print things out, so on and so forth. So that's all there is uh, to accessing both the named key and the value with an array. This can be valuable for many things, whether it's for inventory control systems, whether it's for report card systems, attendance systems, a whole bunch of things. Again, once you start dealing with arrays, the main thing to remember is the arrays themselves are not complicated. As I'm showing you, the code to deal with an array is relatively simple. What gets complicated is how you think about the data, then how you think about the array, and how do you create the array to give or do what you want it to do. That's where coding gets very complicated. A lot of people, uh, they don't realize that coding itself, programming, is ra a rather simple task. What gets complex is trying to figure out how to use the rather simple code to do what it is that you need it to do. That's where everything gets very confusing. And so using the for each function to be able to grab both the name of the key and the value can be a very useful thing in PHP coding. So that's why it matters, and, uh, and that's how I do the user.